Welcome to another episode of the Life Creative Podcast. This is a show dedicated to helping you get the most from your creativity, offering you inspiration, suggestions, and discussion. So let's get on with the show. In this episode, I am hoping that I can give you some inspiration and some ideas to keep yourself creative and, more importantly, keep yourself motivated and focused in these difficult times while most of us are stuck at home. So let's go ahead and get on with it. So at this point, many of us around the world are now essentially stuck at home or stuck wherever we may be. And hopefully it's something that's not too rough for you and you're able to deal with it. But one of the problems becomes, you know, we are social animals by default. And so we can only go so long without being around other people you know yeah sure you're at home with family i hope or maybe you are at home by yourself and trying to find things to do so in the meantime here's a few suggestions as to how you can try and find ways to occupy yourself and you know let's focus on the positive and not dwell on watching the news around the world and the miserable situation going on certainly keep an eye on it but don't let it get you down we'll get through this so the first thing is invent a project, okay? Invent a project for yourself that you can do at home in your house. I am sure there is one, and I am sure that when you stop and think about it, there's probably more than one, and you just have never really thought about it before because we are so used to expecting to have to go out in the world to do these things. A prime example, right? You know, so many people, uh, photography, for example, you expect to go out and take pictures well you know there are so many projects you can do at home okay in the previous episode you know i suggested documenting you know the current situation you know document what it's like to be stuck at home during this time but at the same time as well for things that you have laying around the house i am sure you can set up some kind of mini studio and practice you know, still life photography, practice composition, practice, you know, focusing, practice uh, understanding depth of field in relation to, you know, objects in the shot, all these kind of things. And once you start playing with that, I'm betting you're going to find start finding work in there that you just didn't realize was there waiting for you, you know, because you were too busy going out, you know, in the world doing these other projects. Well, now's a good time to sit back and do that. So a second suggestion kind of follows the first one a little bit. Practice your skills, whatever it may be. Practice your writing, practice your painting, practice your color control, your color mixing, practice uh, working with your camera, you know, and make sure that you play with the settings with your camera. Maybe try out some of those modes that you've never tried before or have always avoided. You know, maybe you always set it to manual and, you know, now's a good time to just set to some of those automated presets in the camera, you know, aperture control, uh, shutter control, you know, full program, whatever it may be. Just play with the equipment and the tools that you use on a regular basis and get to discover some of that functionality that you never noticed before. So that's the second suggestion. Let's take a quick break and I'll come back with a couple more. Have you ever thought about creating your own podcast? Uh, Certainly you must like podcasts because you're listening to this one and I'm sure many others. Well, if you've ever thought to yourself, I bet I could do that better or I have a subject that I'd like to make a podcast for, then you can go ahead and do that very easily using Anchor.fm. In fact, Anchor.fm is the site that I use to host this very podcast. And what I like about it is they provide me all the tools and walk me through all the steps to not only creating my podcast, but very easily taking care of all the necessary details for distributing it as well. So if you want to go ahead and easily create your own podcast, start today on Anchor.fm. That's Anchor.fm. So number three would be go back and visit old projects. Maybe they're projects that you abandoned or lost interest in, or maybe it's a project you couldn't complete for some reason. And I'm betting when you go back and look at them now, you'll either maybe find a way to complete it or become, you know, re-energized to want to work on it again. 
Or maybe you'll look at it and realize what was wrong and take it in a new direction. But I'm betting there's plenty of old projects you can go back and look at and and maybe bring them back to life and try to finish those off. I know that I certainly have a few of them that I'm going to be revisiting. Number four would be to pull out that old equipment. You know, for example, I love to keep my old cameras, even some of the film cameras. And, you know, there's several reasons I have them, but, I, you know, I just like to have them around. But it's fun sometimes to pull out that old equipment that can seriously limit your creativity in some way with whatever it's capable of. Maybe it's some old brushes that you liked. You know, maybe you had some particular favorite paints or, you know, maker of paints, something like that. Or, you know, something as well. Maybe uh, if you do calligraphy and, you know, fonts and things like that and writing, maybe there's a pen that you don't use anymore that you used to just love to use because of the way the ink would flow onto the page you know some things like that so pulling out old equipment and playing around and creating projects where that can be fun you know that's right in line with the other tip about you know explore you know exploring settings of the equipment that you have now and you know trying different things and seeing how it works for you maybe that'll spark some ideas and then lastly for number five is just just to go with it just to be adventurous and you know, just pick something that you don't normally do and say, hey, I'm going to do that. You know, I'm going to play around with that. Maybe, for example, maybe you don't normally draw things. You know, maybe you're not someone who's, you know, particularly artistic with drawing or something like that. Pick up a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper and just start doodling and just, you know, let your brain wander and, and see what comes out of it. You know, sometimes you discover new ideas and things that you didn't even know you could do once you just sort of set yourself free and say there's no limits on this project right I'm gonna just go with it I'm not gonna plan any of it I'm just gonna see where it takes me right maybe it's editing some video in a new way maybe you know recording a podcast you know something like that maybe recording some music playing some music playing a style of music you don't normally play any of those kind of things so that's five you know, different ideas to keep yourself motivated and focused in these awkward times. And I'm betting at least, you know, two of those are going to work for you when you sit and think about it. I would love to hear how this works out for you. You know, go to peterwilliam.com forward slash contact. I would love to hear how this works out. And maybe I can share some of those results with the listeners. So, you know, with that, let's leave it there. Stay motivated, stay focused, hang in there. We'll get through it. And, you know, let's keep that creativity alive, as I say, and see what projects we can make.